Now here we have a digital readout made by Otto Martin GmbH and Company. And it is ANZIG T20 V1.01 is the model number. Now what's going on is it's not displaying characters properly. Let me power this up. Now there's all segments light up and then look at this. Did you see that? We have some segments that are missing. And then up here these segments are flickering. Now I've got my Hall Effect Encoder Simulator over here. Let me program that. And it should start counting. But look how it counts. Ha! <laughs> That's not right. Well, we have to go into the control board and see what's going on. First thing I want to look at is the Quadrature Encoder Interface IC, and that's part number HCTL-2016, made by Hewlett Packard. I'm going to move the camera over in front of the oscilloscope, and we'll take a look what we see on that IC. All right. What we're looking at there is ground. And our scope is set to 5 volts per division. I'm going to look at the data bus first on that IC. There's 8 data bits labeled D0 to D7. This is D0. We have activity there. Let me up that a little bit. Now we're at uh, 2 volts per division. So we're peaked out there at about four volts. Now you see that this first data bit is going into tri-state. Let's look at data bit one. There's a little bit of tri-state activity right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's very dim. But we're closer to five volts at the peak. Spread that out a little bit. Here's data bit two. Looks very close to data bit one. Here's data bit three. Now why is that missing? That's very odd. Let's go to data bit four. There's data bit four. Looks like data bit one and two, doesn't it? Data bit 5. Here's data bit 6. Oh, that's different, but it's active. And here's the last one. Data bit 7. Let's go back and look at data bit 3. It's gone. There's something there, but increase the amplitude of that waveform. There it is. But <laughs> look at the amplitude. That is very small. It's almost like data bit 3 is shorted. Okay, we're going to have to pull out the digital multimeter, set it diode mode, and see if we have a short on data bit 3. This IC right here is the HCTL2016. Uh, over here is pin 1, which is data bit 0. And then coming down the other side, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, that's data bits 1 through 7. Now over here we have a microcontroller that's labeled V1. Dot zero one. First thing we're going to do is set our meter to diode test mode. Can you all see that all right? I need to tilt it up. Get something to put under this meter right here so we can tilt that up and you all can see it real good. 
Don't go sliding around, meter. Oh, it looks like I need to get a battery. I'm already measuring something. <laughs> Let me turn it off, turn it back on. Uh, I turn I turn the light on meter wigs out. Let me go get a battery. Back in a little bit. I'm gonna put my red lead on ground, which is pin eight. put my black lead on data bit zero. We got a diode drop of 0.596. Let's come on to the other side. Pin 15 is data bit one. There's a diode voltage drop of 0.598. There's data bit two on pin 14. 0.576. Here's data bit three. That's a short circuit right there on data bit three. 0 0.005. Let's go to data bit four. That's good, 0.599. Data bit five, 0.597, that's good. Data bit 6, 0 0.611, it's not shorted, that's good. Here's the last one, data bit 7, 0.612. Let's go back and look at data bit 3, 0 0.005. Data bit 3 is shorted. Now I hope it's on this IC right here and not the microcontroller. If it's on the microcontroller, we're done. There's a program inside there, and we ain't getting that program. <laughs> and if it's a custom microcontroller, we probably wouldn't get that either. <laughs> okay, I'm going to unsolder the HCTL2016 from the board, and hopefully the short circuit follows that IC off the board. Oh, wish us luck. <laughs> some new solder to the IC to help the old solder flow up into the solder socket. Now normally I would cut a shorted IC off the board but I'm not so sure that this is the bad IC. It could be the microcontroller contains the short. And I don't want to destroy this encoder interface IC if it's not bad.
pushing the pins of the walls of the vias. I'm going to unsolder this side too. top and bottom sides freed up from the holes or you'll pull the core of the via out with the pin and you'll have to track the trace down to repair it <laughs> uh, try not to make any more work for myself than I can sometimes I can't help it but if I can Let's look and see if the short left the board with that IC. Here's data bit zero, data bit one, data bit two, here's data bit three. All right, <laughs> let me get on it, slip it off. The short circuit is no longer there. That microcontroller does not contain the short circuit. We have a diode drop of 0.649 on the data bit three. Let's move this out of the way. Let's bring the IC in. Let's see, I can't see in the dark here. Yeah, okay. Let's put a red lead on ground. There's data bit zero, data bit one, data bit two. Data bit three, look at that. There's the short circuit, 0 0.005 on the HCTL-2016. We order a new one of these and that'll fix that digital readout. It'll take a little while to get that IC into the shop, but when we do, we'll hook this up and test it again. folks that I see is bad my controller survived <laughs> okay <laughs> all right we'll see you next time